February 3rd, 2021. We thank God for, for allowing us to cross over to a new year. Glory Praise to God. God. Glory God. to God. My God, we thank God for each and everyone that's on Zoom. Thank God for us on the conference line. We are, we just thank God for what he's doing. And thank God for that, that, that selection of Lady P as you say, for the blood. It will never be power. Glory to God. My God. It will reach to the highest mountain and glory to God. We thank God that for the glory to God. We have we have our we have a, 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 a communion our communion service first uh, this before we go, go, go into our our lesson. But we just thank God again for allowing us to even be here this morning. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. No, we don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to even overlook that court. <laughs> Glory to God. We are grateful and we are thankful that He that He spared our life and allowed us to be here one more time. Glory mm -hmm. to God. We gotta again. We and we just have we'll have a beautiful time in the Lord and let God have His way. Uh, he, he, I ask evangelist. Owens, that she can open us up with prayer, and then you, and the evangelist I am with will open us have our morning scripture. Glory to God. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord again. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Well, we got a bigger one than that. We made it over. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. brought us out. <laughs> Praise the Lord again. Uh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Give him the praise that he is due. Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Do it. Give him what he is due. Yeah. Yeah. I give honor to God, to my pastor, to all of you on the on this Zoom and on the prayer conference line, and those to come. God is yeah. good. Yes, yes, he is. Y'all, we owe him a praise. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Y'all, yeah. we just got, might as well go ahead and praise him because somebody did right. it. Right. And we have made it over. Yes. So guess what? All yeah. this breath, with, with this breath right here, All right. I praise yeah. you, God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I praise you. Yeah. Yeah. I give honor to everybody, to you, <laughs> Pastor, God. First Lady. Thank you. All, yeah. all who honor is due. Yeah. Before everybody, honey, he is due yeah. honor. He yes, is he true. alone is yes. to my praise. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Father yes. God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to say thank you. 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 you brought us out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you brought us over. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Hallelujah. You brought yes. us through. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And we bless your name. Yes. Thank you for forgiving us for our sin, oh God. Everything yes. we have said, done, yes. thought, yes. felt that's not like you. God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For forgiving us. We laughed it in 20. Hallelujah. We laughed it in 20. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. You gave us the opportunity yes. to lay aside every weight in the sin that so easy to set us. God, we appreciate. We appreciate yes. you, God, for letting us approach your throne. Hallelujah. Yes. To let us, you gave us the avenue to come boldly to you. And God, we yes. say thank you for thank coming you. with a praise, God. Yes. We're yes. coming with this praise. Yes. We're not coming with a sorry story. God, receive our worship. Lord, yes. receive our praise. Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, receive Hallelujah. what we bring. Hallelujah. We bring Hallelujah. praise Hallelujah. into the house of the Lord. Lord we bring it to you. We thank you for your blood. Your thank blood, you. God. Hallelujah. We thank you yeah. for your blood, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You died for us, God. Yes. Hug to the Lord. And God, we say thank you. Thank you. We have gratitude in our heart because you died for us. That we may have a right to the tree of life. That we may come boldly. That we may touch the hem of your garment. Oh, God, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We say thank you enough, God. We say thank you. We say we appreciate you. Oh, God. Thank you 
for your blood, your shed blood, God. Thank you, oh God, for suffering even before you, they preached you. God, you suffered. Hallelujah, you suffered. You suffered. And God, we say thank you. You suffered. You took a strike for this. You took a strike for that. Yeah. Yes. You took a beating for it, God, and we say yeah. thank you. Oh, thank God, we ask that you touch each and every one on this line. All of the families represented, God. People we know and people that we don't know. Yes. We're not being selfish with this praise, God. Bless everyone, God, yes. under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, those that should come what? on later. Lord, heal what? the sick and afflicted, the down and out, the oppressed and depressed. Oh, God, comfort the bereaved, Lord. You are able to go into the ICUs, oh God. You're able, God, to go to the hospitals and touch everyone that's sick. You're able to heal, God. There's more that's sick, God, that's dealing with COVID. Oh, God, the numbers of COVID may go up, but there are other ailments and illnesses, God. You heal all manner of diseases. Hallelujah. Mental illness, physical illness. Lord, you're able to heal all. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are standing on your word today in the name of Jesus. Oh God, open doors, make ways, be our provider. Oh God, Jehovah Jireh. Oh God, you're all that we need. We give you the glory. Blessing, keep our pastor and our first lady in a special way. You know the load that they carry, God. You know the burden, God. Lord, we're casting it all on you, God. We're bringing yes. them to you, God. We're upholding them. We're under their arms, oh God. For yes. they desire blessings for the people of God. But Lord, I'm asking that you return blessings unto them for all that they do, God. Yes. All that they press through and press over. Yes. Bless our past and our first lady. This year, oh God, in a mighty way, God. Like no uh, other. Yes. You're yes. able, yes. God. Yes. God. Yes. You're yes. able. Oh, bless you. We say thank, thank, thank you. Hallelujah. We say thank you. Bless thank the teach word, the taught word, God. Bless your your communion service, God. For this yes. we do yes. in remembrance yes. of you. Oh God, yes. we do it because we love you. Yes. Hallelujah. Nobody's twisting our arm. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, we love you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. We love you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, yes, we're not yes, doing this because yes, they told yes, us. Yes. You told us. But yes. God, we're doing it because we love you. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. And we remember yes. we got a memory. You yes. gave us a memory. And this we do in remembrance of you. God, we love you. Bless each and every one as needed, oh God, according to your riches and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to amen. God. Amen. Love you, oh, Jesus. God, my God. Thank you, Pastor Thank you. for that powerful prayer. I love you. Glory to God. I mean, Badgers now have what I was scripture this morning. Hey, Amen. I'm coming to you in Psalms 30. I will exalt thee, O Lord, for yeah. thou hast lifted me up. And hath not made my foes to rejoice over me. Yeah. Mm. O oh Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Yeah, all right, yes. O oh Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast mm. kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing mm. unto the Lord, O oh, ye saints of his, yeah. and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Mm. Yes, yes. For his anger endureth but but a moment. Yes. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but yes. joy cometh in the morning. Yes. yes. And in my prosperity, I said, I said, All right, I yes. shall never be moved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read Psalms 31 <laughs> through 6. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, the hearer, and the doers of his word. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Evangelist, both for the prayer and for, and for that 
scripture, for our prescription. Hallelujah. We thank God again for allowing us to be here. Thank God for keeping us. Thank God for, for bringing us over, my God, for, I got to 2021, and I just yes, and, yes. And, and, and the evangelist was praying, and we thank God because even because last night we was at the hospital with my father. Glory to God! But then, right. they got a, then we got a call at, at five and say, "Come pick him up." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they, they went through it. Glory to God. They went through it. Right, and, and they all kind of check, like, check this and check that. But we thank God for the prayers. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. We thank God for being God. Glory to God. My God, my God. He stepped in and did it again. Glory to God. My God, my God. Did it again. If, if you would have seen last night how, how, how he was, how weak and everything. Hallelujah, but God, but God, glory but to God. 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 And turn around and, and we, we was there at five or something this morning picking him up. And and again, we thank God for what, well, when we, we were, we, we brought him home and the Lord blessed, like I said, where he just started getting the strength again. And this, we just thank God for what he has done, what he is doing, <laughs> glory to God, and what he's going to continue to do. <laughs> glory to God, my God. It's so much. I mean, that's why I'm saying God is awesome. God is awesome. Yes, but we yes, come yes. to give him glory today. Glory to God, my God, my God, my God. My God. <laughs> We thank God for each and every one that's here with us, uh, our communion service. We just don't want to just run into a communion service. We want to find out the purpose. And Evangelist was, was when she was uh, praying, she was actually given part of that purpose right in, right in. You know, it's like, because the Lord was saying, as, as much, do as often as in remembrance of him. Glory to God. We yeah. got to remember what Jesus done for us. Yeah, we got yeah. to remember that he went to the cross. Hallelujah. Yeah. We got to remember that he just didn't. Later, he died on that cross. Glory, it wasn't the fake, it wasn't a fake death, it was a real death. Glory to God. He died, glory to God. Then he went down, and as we know, when he went down, he took care of some business as he went down into the grave. He just said he didn't he didn't put every that that no pause. He just turned around and took care of everything at one time and then turned around and rose again. Glory to God. But we got to remember that he died for the sins of this whole, not just you and our sin, but the sins of the whole world. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. He died that we may live. Glory to God. And not just live, but live life more abundantly. Glory to God. So our purpose, that's, that's, that's our purpose. It shows that we are remembering Christ's death for us and renewing our commitment to serve him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, so as we as we take communion, uh, we, 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 we're asking the Lord to help us to renew our commitment to, to serve him. Glory to God. And it says, so as for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Glory to God. So and so what we're going to do is that we're going to do a little, little reading first before we go right into our communion because we want to get a full understanding of the communion. And so that's, and, that, and if you have your Bibles, uh, we're going to start at 1 Corinthians 11 chapter and it will start at verse 17 and again this is i will allow this we want to get a, an understanding that's the we, uh, just like we were saying about watch night we don't we want to know why we do what we do <laughs> so and this is a blessing that will allow the lord allow us to come on the first sunday of this year first sunday of the month of january glory to god and we want to start off and ask the lord to help us with our commitment to serving him glory right, to god right. glory to god so so we're going to start at first corinthians 11 verse 17 and it says now in this that i declare unto you i praise you not that you come together not for the better but for the worse for first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you, and that, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper, for in eating every one take it before other his own supper. And one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have you not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? 
Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. Verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Verse 25, after the same manner also he took the cup. When he has supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let every man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily eat it and drink a damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this call many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Verse 33, wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another, and if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that you come not together to come to nation. And the rest I will set in order when I come. Glory to God. That was, that was again, 1 Corinthians 11, chapter verses 1, all the way through 34. And we're just trying to get an understanding why we do what we do. And we see the seriousness of communion. We see the seriousness of it. And Lord knows it's only we only worthy because of God mm -hmm. <laughs> and what Jesus did. God, my God, is because yeah. He He's the one. It's because of what Jesus done is the reason why we are worthy. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. We have nothing to boast about. <laughs> Glory to God. It's Jesus that done it all. Glory to God. And so, we, but we, again, we see the seriousness of it. And for us, even when He was talking about for us, for us, one that that that, would, that passed away that died. It said, it, you know, it said sleep, but it said what it means is they, they died. We, we can't, we can't be, we can't just take the, the Lord's communion and just do what we want to do. This is, this is when like, this, like we said earlier, we looking at, we ask the Lord to help us in our, renew our commitment in him, to serve him, glory to God. So we taking it serious. That's why when we take the cup and we take the, the, the bread, my God, Jesus done too much for us but for us to just to say, okay, I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna go back and do what I want to do. No, no, no. This is not. No, no. This is this is about. We are looking for the Lord, like I said, for us. We are renewing our commitment to serving Him, and we want Him to take us higher in Him. So, so we thank God again for the Word of God, because we with all our getting, we said we want to get an understanding. Glory to God. So, so we're getting ready to go into our communion. And, and, and right before we start, but this, I just want to give us an understanding for us, what, what we do, why we do. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, O oh Lord, for allowing us to come together for communion, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Well, Lord God, we, the word of God, Lord God, you said, Lord, to do it as, as often as we can in remembrance of you. Lord God, we thank you for dying for us, O oh Lord. You thank you for, Lord, going to the cross. We thank you for, Lord God, not just not going to the cross and dying for us, but, but also rising again on the third day, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, O oh Lord, for sending back the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. We thank you, O oh Lord, for all that you have done, O oh Lord. Well, God, we thank you, O oh Lord, for all the strips, all the stripes that you, when you were beat, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you for the blood, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, your blood, that hallelujah, that ran, hallelujah, all the way from the top of the hill to the bottom, O oh Lord. In the blood that cleanses us, O oh Lord, we thank you and we appreciate you, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for everything that you've done and what you continue to do in our lives. Continue, O oh Lord, to, to strengthen us. Continue, O oh Lord, to encourage us. Continue, O oh Lord, to us to be the saints of God that you are calling us to be. But we just don't want to take this day for granted, oh Lord. We thank you for all that you have done and what you continue to do, oh Lord. Continue, oh Lord, to help us love one another, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Continue, oh Lord, to help us stand strong, oh Lord, in the faith, oh Lord. We thank you again for more and one more time for allowing us to come over to 2021. We was nobody but you, oh Lord, that did it. And we thank you, oh Lord. Hallelujah, for you are such a great God and a mighty God. So, Lord God, as we take 
communion, oh Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus. Lord God, if anything that's not like us, we ask you to take it out, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us for anything, oh Lord, any sins uh, committed or omitted, oh Lord, things that we don't even know about. We ask for you to take it out, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord God, forgive us for anyone we offended, oh Lord, in the name. Help us be with your calling us to be, oh Lord. Lord God, remove anything that's not like you, oh Lord. We thank you, oh Lord, for allowing us to be able to come together and take the bread, oh Lord. Hallelujah. That represents your body oh lord and the cup that represents your blood glory to god we thank you for this opportunity oh lord in the name of jesus and we give you the honor and we give you the glory in jesus my name we pray amen and amen glory to god amen. and as well as we start there's as we start reading first corinthians there's a couple there's a, there's a couple of areas i max our evangelists if they can if they'd be able to uh, they're going to join in with us and and I'll let them know for us at that time for us, um, for us, uh, those two, the verses that, you know, they'd be able to pray over. But right now, uh, we're going to start at 1 Corinthians 11, 23. It says, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do remembers of me. I'm gonna ask Evangelist Owens if she can pray at this, at this, at this uh, point over the bread. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to say thank you again. Yes, Lord. For this is your body, God. Yes, yes. Shut up. Lord, you let them beat you. You allow them to spit on your face. After healing, after raising the dead, after feeding the hungry, Lord, you let them beat you. You let them pierce you in your side. You gave your life for us. And we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we ask that you bless this that's in our hands. Yes. Whatever form of bread that we are holding, yes. it is no longer bread. It is your body. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. You, oh, yeah, my you told us to speak to it. It is now your yeah. body. It is. And we reverence you, God. Yes. And we respect your body. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God, we respect your body. Oh, God, we respect your body. We don't we take it lightly. This body went through yes. for us. And God, we ask that you bless it as we take it, oh God. Yes. We ask that you purify us all on the inside. Yes. Lord. Let it do a work inside. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. yes Lord. Thank yes, you. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. You are the bread of life. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Bless this that we have as it go into our body, Lord. Let it be life to us, even life yes. more abundant. In Jesus' yes. name, amen. Jesus. Amen. amen, amen, amen. Glory to amen. God. Will, will everybody please take, take, <laughs> take the bread if you have it? Take, take it out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When everybody, when everyone have it out, please say amen. 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 Glory to God. At this time, we eat our bread together. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. Ah, who Hallelujah. Who Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hall
Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. I will ask Evangelist Diana if she can pray over the cup, the blood. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we come in with your blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The blood that covers. Yeah. The blood, Hallelujah. The blood that heals. Yes. The blood that washes. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The blood that yet flows from Calvary. Yes. Oh, God, we thank you for your thank blood. You, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you so freely gave. Hallelujah. Thank you, we Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we bless you for the blood. Yes. That saved us, oh God, in, yes. the in the name of Jesus. You gave it. Yes, Lord. You're the only one, but only your blood, God. Yes, God, Lord. Lord. Do it. Yes. But you freely gave it, God, and we thank you. Thank, thank you. Jesus. We thank you for what you did on the cross, yes. oh God. Hallelujah. Thank we you. thank you for how you bled and died. Yeah. Hallelujah. Without the blood, Jesus. Lord. Yeah, that will shine. There will be no remission. Oh, yes. God, but we Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the blood. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. That's yet flowing from generations, yes. through generations, God. Yes. We thank you. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because you said it's fun to you. Glory, Hallelujah. Glory, glory. You know what you're trying to do. You know what you're trying to do. You chose to share it with us. Thank you, Jesus. You know what you're trying to do. You called us your own. Yes. Ah, you said when you see the blood. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, God, for the blood. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood. Yes. Thank you because you thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. We pray. Yes. Amen. Glory, amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this time, if you have your cup, yes, we can all sup yes. together. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. For the blood. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory to God. And verse 26 says again, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye oh do God. show the Lord's death till he comes. Come. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Till he come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father God, we thank you, hallelujah, for the blood, hallelujah. We thank you, oh Lord, hallelujah, when your body was beaten, hallelujah. We thank you at this point, oh Lord, we thank you, oh Lord, for what you're doing. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you, oh Lord, for everything that you have done for us, oh Lord. Thank you for dying for us, oh Lord, hallelujah. Thank you for allowing us to be able to, oh Lord, to come back in fellowship with you, hallelujah. My God, my God, we thank you and we appreciate you, oh Lord. Oh God, we ask you to continue, oh Lord, to cover us with your blood. Glory to God. That yes, blood, that man, from Calvary is still running. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for covering us with your blood. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. So we thank you and we appreciate you and we magnify and glorify your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And Lord God, we will do as often as in remembrance of you, oh Lord. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Again, we thank God. Hallelujah. We don't like like we were saying earlier. We just don't want to be doing something. We we want to know why we're doing what we're doing. Glory to God. Mm. So we thank God for each and every one. At this time, uh, Lady P has a, a song that she's on. That, um, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise, God. Praise, Praise the Lord. My God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And as she was saying, you know what? We don't want to rush a song because it will allow you to do it. You start thinking back what God has done for you. Hallelujah. And it was nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. That ran all the way from Calvary. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. To, to wash my sins. Hallelujah. Away. The change and <laughs> the change my life, to change all of our lives. So nothing but the blood. Glory to God. My God. So we thank God again for our, for the communion. We thank God for what He has said and done. And right now we're going to transition right into our our lesson. But we thank God for this opportunity, and we don't want to take it lightly. Glory to God. So we thank God for allowing us to be able to have communion the first Sunday. And here it is in 2021. My God, my God. Mm. What a blessing. What a blessing. And then this lesson, it talks about restoring. Mm. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. It yes. talks about restoring. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Who only one person, only one, hallelujah. Mm. That can restore us, mm. can restore our soul, restore our mind, that can restore our heart. Hallelujah. Yes. A heart that was hard, he can take a heart that's hard and restore it. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 so yes. we hallelujah. So we're going right into how oh, God will restore. <laughs> mm. Glory to God. My God. Silence my <laughs> <laughs> and turn it back over to Lady P at this time. Praise the Lord. So while we transition, praise God. I want you to just enjoy this this two minute song while we while I get my lesson and we transition. <laughs> praise God. God is so good. God Hallelujah. is so good. You know what? When you want to do, when you want to bless God, when you want to remember him, he creates the means and the opportunity. It is up to us to seize the moment, seize the means and the opportunity. Hallelujah, 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 because that's how we get our restoration. When we seize the means and the opportunity that he gives us. Uh, So give me a, a second to transition. Praise. Praise God. Our, the scriptures is for our learning. And, and, and this lesson is going to show us uh, uh, how we can find the restoration, how this can be done. Praise God. So just be encouraged, uh, saints of God, uh, whoever under the sound of my voice, whatever wasn't right in 2020. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We declaring. Yes. Hallelujah. That God will restore us. Hallelujah, mm-hmm. whatever was the, the heavy load. Hallelujah, whatever you thought you lost. Hallelujah, God will restore. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's at the, uh, our focus thought says, 
though God judges rebellion and sin, we can find restoration if we turn to him. We just said that I know it was the blood. There is something that I know. There is something that I believe. Hallelujah. So therefore, I will turn to the one in whom I believe. Right. And because I'm turning to the one in whom I believe, we can find restoration. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want you to be encouraged. Hallelujah. There are a couple of questions at the end, you know, uh, um, and, and we're going to go fairly quickly through the lesson, so we don't want to bore your patience. We, you know, already into um, our service. And in the internalizing the, the uh, internalizing the message, I just wanted to to touch on just a couple of those questions, and then we go back to the lesson. Um, it says here, uh, um, let me make sure I'm on the right one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and, and it talked about we know we live in a broken world filled with broken people. And you know this. 2020 has been an uncovering of some broken, of some things. It has created some things. And so here, and it talked about every everyone, including those who are in the church. See, see we want to get people away from the false impression that just because we love God and we are in the church, that we don't go through things, okay? But I got to keep reminding you, who do you know? Right, it is in whom you believe. Hallelujah. That's where you turn. Hallelujah. It says everyone, including those who are in the church, deals daily with the after effects. Okay. We're looking at dysfunctional families, ruptured relationships, and unjust circumstances. We all long for final and full restoration. So these are the two questions. Where do we begin the process? What is the initial step towards holiness? Praise God. And then it turns around and gives us an answer. It, 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 we, we, the journey to, this, the, to answering these questions begins with divine presence. The blood of Jesus, allowing the blood of Jesus to take effect in our lives. That's the journey. Hallelujah. And then it says through the gift of the Holy Ghost, because wherever we go in this lesson, I want this to be the forefront of in your mind. Through the gift of the Holy Ghost, the restoring power of God that will one day reshape the entire world is available to each one of us. So before we start trying to reshape the world, hallelujah, it begins with you. The journey starts with you. It starts with you allowing. It starts with you applying. It starts with you walking in the light. Remember, this whole series is about walking in the light. It starts with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So remember, each lesson is giving us a, 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 a theme to say, what does that mean? What are we talking about? So here we're going to talk about God will restore. Right. How will he restore? What does the journey look like? And so we're going to get an uh, understanding today of that. Now, one thing I want to Say again, as we've been saying in all of our lessons, remember the past lessons, remember the past lessons, because that, that will get us through this one a little quicker, because we have to remember a past lesson that really detailed some things that this lesson uh, uh, talks about, okay? Um, in our focus verse comes out of Zephaniah 3 and 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. Mm that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. I, I want to highlight when, there, when the prophet is right, when the prophet is true, when it's the true word of God is going to come to pass, it's going to happen. We got to heed the words of God, yes. no matter who is through. It says here about the pure language, and we're going to see that that has already come to pass. Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to see it. And that one consent 
it has already happened. Hallelujah. Oh. It's a continual, but the initial manifestation has already happened. This was the Old Testament. Hallelujah, which was spoken in the Old Testament and manifested in the New. But we're going to we're going to move on further in our lesson text. We're looking at Zephaniah 3, 8 through 13. And it says, therefore, wait. As Evangelist Clark say, let that marinate. Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. Until, that's another marinated word. Wait until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is my determination. Ah, uh, what is your determination? What, what are you striving for? Where is your focus? What do you want? Where is, what is your priority? Oh my God, it says here, for my determination is to gather the nations mm -hmm. that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. Mm -hmm. See, 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 we, we're going to get more into it, uh, um, into the, the body of the lesson. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Uh, we, we're, we're going to see he, he was angry. The Lord was angry. There was, there was, there was, there was, uh, 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 what a discipline coming. There was, there was, there was discipline coming because of some things. Hallelujah. See, there is no restoration. If nothing has been torn up, there's no restoration. If things haven't been torn down, there's no restoration. If you haven't gone off the path, off the, off of what was, what you were supposed to be built on the foundation, the foundation was laid, but the, you tore down the buildings, you tore down the temples, you did all of this, you applied all these things that you weren't supposed to. We can't have restoration unless something has been destroyed. Okay. So here he's upset. Okay. You disobey. Hallelujah. He says here in the ninth verse, for then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call up on the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So he's trying to tell you, okay, you get ready to get disciplined. But then, but then. Here from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, suppliants, even the daughter of my disperse shall bring my offering. In that day shall thou be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee, them that rejoice in thy pride. We're going to get into this. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Oh the remnant yeah. of Israel. Ah, God yes. always got a remnant. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, there's always a remnant. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, help me to always be the remnant for him. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Part of the remnant, yes. part of the ones that did not bow, part of the ones that did not give up, part of the ones that stood in the midst of all of the tearing down and the disobedience. Lord, help me to be the remnant. Yes. Glory to God. It said the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, but they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Acts 2, 1 through 4, see, that was Old Testament. Here we come into the New Testament. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them 
cloven tongues like as a fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance is that not a pure language glory to god glory to god that's a glory to god i'm telling you don't don't run away from the pure language i i i oh my god that is a treat hallelujah to be filled with the holy ghost and be able to yield your tongue over to the pure language of god it's real it wasn't just for the bible day he's still pouring it out today be encouraged. Amen. You Amen. Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Our culture connection today is talking about a, a restoration of a, a 1970, get this color, lime green falcon. It's a super bird. Just the lime green. I ain't mad at 1970, but it's just that lime green, okay? <laughs> and then it talked about how one day the car got into an accident. They were driving, it went out of control. It rolled over and it was all beat up. And then uh, um, the dad just parked the car. And it just set wrecked for 40 years, okay? And then one day the son, which is named Tommy, decided to have the former family car restored. He decided that, okay, you know what? It's a classic 40 years, 40 years after, you know, this, this is the classic now and, and they don't building them like this no more. I want to have it restored. So in restoration, I, I looked at these, the, the different things. He said the parts were rare and expensive. They were rare. Mm rare rare things have so much value and it is so pure and it is so and it's hard to find ah, that's why the scripture tells us to find the old path hallelujah it's rare go find it yes. hallelujah and when you find it walk in it hallelujah see we're still talking about walking in the light when the things are rare, there's value to it. Yes. And then the value comes in the searching for it. Right. Hallelujah. That's why it's costly. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yes. When it's found, it costs something. Right. Hallelujah. But it says here, uh, he, Tommy found a dynamic duo of mechanics willing to take on the task. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Saints of God, are we willing to take on the task? I, 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 I'm just, mm -hmm. you know, this just, Oh, oh, you know, just just download. Y'all, y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for me. Praise God. And it says here that they work for months. See, sometimes searching for the old path. See, what happens is the value is in the searching, in the looking for it, in the in the in the in the gleaning and in, in whatever you gotta turn over, whatever you gotta turn up. You know what I'm saying? That's where the value is because had this the store just had it, guess what? It wouldn't have been a, a, a it wouldn't have felt worth it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It wouldn't have been pricey. Right. Hallelujah. It wouldn't have been sacred. Right. And so here, and then sometime if it's too easy, we take it for granted. It. Yes. yes. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. It says shipping the car from one shop to another. Hallelujah, just kept moving it around, shopping one part after another. This wasn't something that just happened overnight. It was a, a seeking for it. It's a doubtless there were days when the project seemed like it would stall. Mm. Hallelujah. Think about it, saints. We in our lives, it seems like it's stalled. Right. It seemed like it's not going to work. And it said, doubt list there were days when it seemed like doubtless see see if they had doubt that they could do it they would stop but it was like it just felt like 
Ha! It don't mean I acted on it, but it felt like, right. hallelujah, that it wasn't going to work. It felt like right. he wasn't with me. It felt like I couldn't feel him. It felt like, hallelujah, in searching for the old path, it may feel like something. Hallelujah, but I know the worth and the value. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So with no doubt, I'm going to keep pressing. All right. This sounds like a press to me. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo. Yes, Lord. God. Hallelujah. It said, and the team kept shipping, kept shopping, kept looking, kept buying, kept working, ah, and restoring. And then one day, there comes an until. All right. Mm, we got to move and we got to press until, hallelujah, not about until it feel like, but until, hallelujah, I've completed my assignment, yes. until, glory to God, there's an until, until. hallelujah, hallelujah, until. glory to God. And it said after yeah. seven, several months, and look how much it cost, $71,000. Now, you know, back in 1970, that car didn't cost that much. Okay. They called him and let him know his, his car was restored and ready. He drove it to his parents' house to let his daddy see the finished product. Ah, who was that that came back to say thank you because yeah. he told him to go, go show yourself to the priest. That's the finished product. I already healed you. Right. Now I'm making you whole. Right. Hey, say that, say that. Hallelujah. And it says, Hallelujah. his dad walked out of the house and wept when he saw this once crumbled Woo, wrecked and left the rest for a falcon sitting in the driveway, fully restored. Hi, don't that bring tears to your eyes when you remember? Hallelujah. When you go back to see where he brought you from, when you go back, hallelujah, and examine. Yes, 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 say that. In your life. I don't know. Body that don't really do it and don't bring tears to your eyes. Yeah. To look Hallelujah. What God has restored. Hallelujah. Then you go and let people see the ones that knew you win. All right. Uh, All right. And they look at you and say, oh my God, mm. look at you. Hallelujah. Only a God can do that. Yes. Only a God can change you. Yes. Hallelujah. Your life becomes a testimony. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What they see that restoration becomes a testimony yes, yes. by itself. Yes. Hallelujah. Walking in the light. Yes. Be a light. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And then it says, for fleeting meaning, he was it, he was different. He was different. Mm. It look at what it did. It sparked, look at this light. It sparked in someone else. All right. Yes. To see the change in you. Called it someone else to say, Whoa, you just sparked life in me. You just woke me up. All right. Hey, God, it said for a few minutes he was newly married again. He was young again. Ah, because he's remembering him in that car. All right. He remembered the days of the car right. when it, the car was literally lime green. Right. I didn't tell what color they painted this car, but they might not have had that lime green paint no more. But he remembering. Ooh, this is how I was when I was driving the car. Ooh, I remember the day. I remember the day. I remember the day. Ah, life came. Ah, uh, it's a restoration did that for him. Restoration did that for them. Woo, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's infectious. Ah, restoration is infectious. It did it for me. Yeah. Hi, then when you see it, it do it for you. Yeah. Hey, God never leaves it where it's selfish. I, I heard you, Evangelist, when you say, we're not praying selfish. Right. We're not praising selfish. Right. Hallelujah. But this praise is going to stretch out. Hallelujah. It's going to grab somebody yes, else. Yes. Hallelujah. I want the anointing. When anybody even hears the lesson later, when anybody hear our praise later, that it becomes infectious. Hallelujah. You will feel it. Hallelujah. Somebody else 
us will feel it. It don't have to be a you had to be there moment. Hallelujah. Right. But I wanted to carry over. Yes. Glory to God and make you new. Right. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. It said, pull your chain and close in close and listen. Ah, and it's talking about Zephaniah. This giving us a, a depiction of our lesson. Hallelujah. It says Zephaniah tells the story of God restoring his people to what they once were before the wreck. Right. Hallelujah. You can't be restored unless there was a wreck. Right. Hallelujah. And it said this heartwarming story of mercy, redemption, and of course, restoration. So that's the summary of the lesson. Mm. Remember, unless there's a wrecking, Hallelujah, there's no restoration. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, and, and all restoration don't mean that you are all in the gutter and all that kind of stuff. Your mind could have floated off somewhere. Hallelujah, mm. your mind could have gave up. And I'm just saying today, be encouraged because God is in the restoration business. Lord, restore my mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I haven't done anything. I haven't sinned, but we Restore my mind yeah. to where it once was. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Restoration. It don't mean that everybody in the gutter. It don't mean that everybody is running around sinning all over the place. But where I fallen, hallelujah. hallelujah, where I did not yield, hallelujah, where I did not let you, right. hallelujah, that wrecked something yes. because I would have been further. Yes, 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 yes. Am now yes. so Lord restore me because I wrecked something. Hallelujah. 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 I was listening to a message. You know, I always, you know, God feeds me. You know what I'm saying? It seems like sometimes I'm, I'm listening before, you know, and then I the Lord will just download a piece. Hallelujah. And it always fit. But they were saying before you, before God can do something, and it just fit with the lesson. There has to be an acknowledgement. Yes. There has to be a, a, a confession. Yes. God wants to hear from you. Yes. What part of your life has been wrecked? Yes. What part of your life did not stand up yes. to what God wanted it to be done? Yes. I am not trying to justify myself. Hallelujah. Because if I never acknowledge my faults, if I never acknowledge my sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to prove nothing to nobody else. I'm not trying to prove to you I'm so saved. I got to meet Jesus. Hallelujah. I got to be pure before Hallelujah. him. I need a restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, clean it up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Where I wrecked it. Anytime I touch it, anytime I try to do something, I'm going to wreck it. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Moving further into the lesson. Oh, God. And I'm, 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 I'm trying to honor the time and still move. Praise God. It said contemplating the topic. Uh, um, and it's talked about how uh, uh, it has become more a platitude and platitude is a statement that we just use uh, so much that we are not even moved by it no more. You know, you can say some things over and over and over and you it don't even phase you no more. It is just some words. Remember Bible, biblical is the sound of brass tinkling cymbal. It don't move you, it don't do nothing. It says, to observe that we live in a hurting world. It's saying, saying that we live in a hurting world. We say that so much until some sometimes it just don't, okay, that's just the world. You understand what I'm saying? So it's saying here, however distinctive it is, is that much of this hurt is largely invisible to the physical eye. And that is true. We, we it say we've advanced by leaps and bounds in our ability to deal with physical brokenness, diseases, in, in all these things. And then it says here it is in, in um, that several recent outbreaks of violence have been increasingly linked to various forms of mental disorder. It, it's, it's a lot going on, okay? But then sometimes you get numb to it. Right. You get numb because you hear it so much. You say, what our world needs more than ever before is restoration, okay? 
And then it talks about, and it's giving us the synopsis of the lesson that says that, that a topic that occupied the central place in the message of the prophet Zephaniah. And it's trying to say, Zephaniah, this is what he was talking about. Zephaniah, a minor prophet. And we are going to, to uh, go further into the scriptures. And, and, and our outline is talking about God will judge. And it's talking about the turning point, the pronouncing of judgment. God will judge sin. And then our second portion says God will restore. It's going to deal with God restoring. The spirit will bring uh, restoration. God will bring restoration at the end of time. We can find restoration if we turn to the Lord. So it's talking about God will judge. Remember, there was a wrecking. And God had to discipline. He had to give place judgment on sin. He, sin is never going to get away. You're never going to get away with sinning. You're never going to get away with living in sin. You're never going to get away with just committing sin. I'm in I'm, sin only is covered by the blood when repentance is applied. That's the only time. But if we just reckon stuff and sin and sin and sin, and, there comes a judgment. Okay. It talks about the prophet Zephaniah ministered at a particular moment in the history of the nation of Israel. So what happens here is talking about this time with the reign of Josiah. And we we went over Josiah in depth under our lesson back in uh i got that let me see we had a lesson back in august that talked about josiah and the power of obedience yes. and we went in depth on josiah and what happened there and how um that i'm gonna skip through this a little bit it said it talked about how kings uh, talked about Josiah and said he walked in all the way of David, his father, and turned not aside to the right nor to the left. And it, it, because Josiah, uh, uh, give me one second. Okay, let, let me just give you a quick synopsis of Josiah and then that'll move us through. Remember, Josiah, uh, 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 came through and reigned after Manasseh. Manasseh had reigned and brought in all idolatry and, and all these things, okay? And then uh, uh, Man uh, Josiah was his grandson, okay? He came on the scene and, and Josiah was the one that was the last and the greatest of the kings of Judah. And what happened is uh, um, he was uh, um, faithful. He was so faithful and his faithfulness as the past lesson has said was unmatched even by the man after God's own heart, David. And that was because of David's sin with Bathsheba, okay? So Josiah, there was no blotches on him. He didn't, that was not what he had done, okay? So he reformed and he came and, and it says here that Josiah's reforms included the destruction of the high places. Okay, and especially the false altars and things like that. And so that's what he did. And Josiah's reform reversed the apostasy of both Jeroboam and Solomon. Josiah was simply doing what he felt was right. Then how he died, he died uh, going into war, but he thought he was doing it for the right reasons. And so when he went into battle, then he got killed. So that's what this is, is talking about. And so what happened is, uh, um, Josiah had to clean all of this stuff up because it was so much wickedness and so much idolatry going on in the high places. Ah, it says here, Josiah assumed the throne at a tender age um, and uh, Manasseh had, who had led the kingdom of Judah into moral and spiritual degradation that rivaled even and surpassed the fallen kingdom of Israel. It said, King surmised, summarized Manasseh's reign this way. Maniah seduced them. 
to do more evil than did the nations whom the Lord destroyed before the children of Israel. Now, you know, see, that's when the devil really have your mind. and He's really tricking you. You saw him. You know he destroyed people for less than what you're doing. Uh-huh. And then here you take it up a notch. Now, is that insanity or what? You take it up a notch. You've seen him destroy people for less. And then you get, you do worse as though, well, you know, he's not going to do it to me. But what's driving you? We still going to, we still going to always bring it back to what's driving you. What's driving you? You see later how the pride steps in. And we know pride is usually at the forefront of most of it. It say for over 50 years, Judah had lived a more wicked and defiled life than the ancient Canaanites. And they end up, when Josiah first assumed the throne, the nation con- continued on a self-destructive path. This was a con- the self-destructive path. And it was not until Josiah's 18th year that the lost copy of the book of the law was discovered. And that's what happened. He found the yes. lost books and went over it. And so when, remember when we talked about earlier, find that old path. All right. Hallelujah. So what happened, he found the books All right. yes. and went over it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so it says here, the only question then of Josiah's reign is what changed? What changed? Is here, uh, uh, the writers of King pointed to the rediscovery of the book of the law. That the rediscovery of the book changed some things. Because that means somebody was reading it. Somebody is reading it. Hallelujah. It say, however, Josiah would have never discovered the book of the law if he had not first undertaken the repair and the purification of the temple. So when his his heart desire, when he decided that, no, this is wrong, I'm getting ready to clean this up, and he got that, that um, determination to clean this up, as he's moving, and oh my God, as you are turning to God and you're saying, Lord, I need you, Lord, I want more of you. And you start getting rid of stuff in your life. You start putting this down, putting that down, getting rid of this, getting rid of that. When you start, guess what happens? That's when Josiah found the book. When it's time, when when God starts talking to you, when you are moving yourself out of the way. When as long as you're in the way and you keep petting the things that you, I'm not saying it's so easy to throw things off, but when your determination that I got to find that valuable thing, when I need restoration and I'm looking for those valuable parts, hallelujah. So I'm searching and I'm digging, hallelujah, in restoring that vehicle in in the in the culture connection. Guess what? If they they had to remove the old battery to put in a new battery, hallelujah. So then Lord, I got to move this out the way. If I'm talking wrong, I got to stop. If I'm seeing wrong, I got to stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as I stop, as I move, then guess what? God starts filling up those places with some new stuff. That's what happens. He starts filling those things with new things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's what happened when Josiah started moving and cleaning it and and digging it out. No, this got to stop. We serve a God. We serve the one true God. Then what happened? He found the book that led him down the right path. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was looking for a book. He didn't even know he was looking for a book. Do you know? See, a lot of times we don't even know where God is trying to take us. We don't even know the heights God is trying to take us to. We're not seeking for higher heights. We're not seeking for a name. All we want is to please God. All we want is more of God. Hallelujah. So as we move things out of the way, God get something that we never even thought we needed. We didn't start answering some questions. Now you're on the path. He starts guiding your footsteps. Glory to God. But did you know that that 
us what he was going to do? No. Hallelujah. All you know is you trying to please him. Yeah. All you <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need, I need this. Yes. Yes. When we get to the place of I need thee all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God starts presenting some things. Hallelujah. He starts showing you some things because you're easily entreated at that point. Hallelujah. You don't have a preference of which prophet tell you. Just talk to me, God. Just tell me something. Hallelujah. My spirit will know it's you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 It says here the answer it seemed was at least in part the prophetic ministry of Zephaniah who thundered and, and again the scripture of Zephaniah 3, 1 through 4. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Ah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I don't want a woe on my life. I need the oak. Oh, Lord God, and I'm going to skip down. It said, this may be the real significance of the tracing of Zephaniah's family all the way back to King Hezekiah. Not only, it said, not only does it appear to suggest that Zephaniah was royal lineage, but it also linked his prophecy to the leader of the last great royal revival in Judean history, a king whose righteousness was also depicted in terms of comparison to King David. Glory to God. Glory to God. Josiah was, was in comparison to King David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says here that now he pronounced judgment because things were wrecked. Hallelujah. Things were wrecked. So Zephaniah was consumed with the coming day of the Lord. He provided two different images to help his listeners understand and it didn't say and us because the scriptures are for our learning yes. okay so and us to understand the importance of this event in the end of the history remember we're talking about a restoration but we got to understand why it needed a restoration that was a wrecking right. hallelujah hallelujah we got to take this personal yes. have we wrecked something yeah. hallelujah yeah. it says here the two things he wanted you to understand is the day the lord sacrificed the day of the lord's sacrifice and it says here zephaniah echoed hallelujah he he, he repeated mm -hmm. the language of the prophet hosea evoking the imagery of religious solemn assembly hallelujah he said zephaniah however how how However, also name this coming day as the day of the trumpet and alarm. Hallelujah. And then it goes on to describing it as a divine invasion. Glory to God, a divine invasion. He's pronouncing the judgment of something that was wrecked, something that God was tired of. I can't clean it up until I tell you where you was wrong. Until, since you didn't choose to get it right, hallelujah, judgment is coming when you don't choose to do it right. When you don't choose to get it right, I can't pray judgment off of you. Hallelujah, because we are, we are vessels. We are humanity that has a choice. We can choose to get it right. He has provided our advocate. Thank the Lord for the advocate. But if we don't decide to use the advocate, I can't pray judgment off of you. When you continue, continue, continue. Glory to God. Glory to God. It says here, uh, 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 in the prophetic view, the day of the Lord had two interlocking purposes. Two purposes. To purify the earth of all unrighteousness. So it's like, I got to start this thing over again. I got to clean this stuff out so I can start it over, start it the right way. And then it says to bring about Jehovah's universal rule of justice and righteousness. Glory to God. And then it goes down, down to say, though Jeff, Jeff and I made clear in the opening verses that this day is, un, is universal in its scope. Okay. His first pronouncement of judgment were specifically applied to the land of Judah. At the core of God's judgment of his own people 
was their worship of false gods and their rejection of God and his will. This is what we're talking about. When you reject, God is not going to stand always for rejection. He is not going to do that. You, you, you got to understand. He wants to restore your life, but you got to choose. Hallelujah. Some places that's wrecked, and I'm going to keep saying that. Find the wrecked places and clean it up. It says here, we, we, we're looking at when he talked about his pronouncing of judgment. It's for everybody, but it was first to Judah. Yes. But he wasn't going to, it's like, no, but it's now it's the land. It's all of it because it's running rampant through the land. It said this simultaneous turning to other gods and turning away from the one true God led to corrupt so we, we we got all of that we understand what led it said thus the first purpose of divine judgment was to correct the chosen people mm -hmm. to correct the chosen people misperception of god and his purposes in the world his chosen people had lost their way. His chosen people got off the mark. His chosen people lost their purpose. Evangelist Owen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You, you, you know how sometimes, um, and I am enjoying this lesson, it is, it is so here and now and today. You know, it may have been back in the Bible days. We're talking about Zephaniah and the children of Israel. But guess what? We're talking about us today. Yes. I'm, I'm looking at when we hear other gods, idol gods. Sometimes people are thinking of statues and things made of wood and brass and stone with eyes and all of that. Mm -hmm. But we have to be careful not to make idol gods out of things we have today. People, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we got to bring the idol God to today. Those idols that we have to be careful not to make. Putting so much time and energy into things that are not of God. Mm -hmm. Prioritizing wrongly. Yes. We mm -hmm. have to keep our, um, our priorities in order. Yes, because yes. if our priorities get out of order, we too can be guilty of idol gods. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. I, I love that. That is true. We we have a perception, and here, uh, 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 this time he was correcting his chosen people's perception, and that's one of the corrections, evangelists, which you just said that we got to understand what idols look like and today it is not necessarily an erection of another a, a physical god hallelujah but the idols but guess what in our searching for the pure language and for the pureness of god he will show us where our idols are that's part of his restoration he will show us it says here that the scope of the prophet's vision extended to the nations. It did just didn't stop at one point. It extended. It extended. Uh, 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 and it clearly mentioned the nations are historical enemies of God's people, punished for their op oppression and persecution of God's chosen people. So it extended. So now it's like, I, I've given you a chance, but now divine judgment is coming. Now, it goes down to say the negative actions toward God's people were rooted. And he was talking about the ones that oppressed his people or, and persecution, the ones that had persecution of his people. And it talked about how they were rooted in deeper issues. And here we go with that pride thing. It says here in Zephaniah 2 and 10, it said, this shall they have for their pride because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord's host. So now that's showing the reason for the judgment because you reproached and you magnified yourself. You got caught up in pride. Now, is that going on today? Hallelujah, reproach and magnifying yourself. 
praise God, the pride. We we talked about we talked about that in past lessons. Pride will rear its head in all kinds of ways. We got to recognize it because it stinks in God's nostrils. We don't want to be caught in pride. And pride is like a cancer. It, it infests. It, it, it grows. It reaches over to something else. It don't just stay small. Glory to God. But here it said, pride at the bottom, it said, pride is the misappropriation of divine rights by finite human misappropriation of divine rights you thinking too much of yourself ah humanity thinking too much of themselves putting to putting themselves in the wrong place they said it's just basic it's misappropriation of yourself hallelujah misapplying where you fit into this puzzle glory to god misapplying where you fit in the divine will of god Hallelujah, hallelujah, pride, glory to God. And, and going a little further, and it gave an example of Nineveh. Ah, uh, and it talked about uh, of the actions against Israel. They attempted to assert their will for dominance and power. And then uh, it goes in, and uh, it, it, it talked about how Nineveh, Nineveh was one of those that, that was getting judged, okay? And we, and we know how that turned out. Uh, um, uh, um, what's his name? Jonah. Jonah. Yes, was sent to Nineveh. But I, I don't want to dwell on that right now. But there is a, a little bit we talked about last week. It says going down a little further into into this scripture. It says this is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, "I am," and there is none besides me. How is she become desolate, a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his hand because she became, she became the I am. Instead of who is the I am? Didn't we talk about the I am? About God is present in the past. He's present in the present, present in the future. And he said the I am, but when they took it on that they were the I am, going down further here, it gave a little more explanation. It said, even more breathtaking, the city of Nineveh co opted the divine name I am for herself. Mm. Here we go, placing that pride in you placed yourself in the wrong place of God's will. Ah, it said, Jehovah, therefore, must take action against this brazen self-exaltation in order to protect the honor of his name. Oh, when you start yeah. in Hallelujah. the wrong spot, hallelujah, he gonna protect yes. his name. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. and hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. timing is with God, timing yes. is with God. We may see it and we may sit here in judgment and say, oh, he haven't gotten them yet. Oh, he haven't gotten them yet. Remember, oh, the lesson that he gave me is when you pointing fingers at how fast he didn't get them and how fast he didn't get you, you better come back and look at yourself and say, Lord, forgive me. Because we Thank you, Lord. To the wrong spot. Yes. You had long suffering. Yes. Hallelujah. Because you had a God. I wouldn't made it. Yeah. I wouldn't be here. I got a lot of places where I wrecked it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I repented. Hallelujah. 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 So no, I can't Jesus. Yes. Yes. judgment. Hallelujah. 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 I can't wish that on nobody yeah. because he will man, man and apply it to me. Right. I got to pray what I want to be applied to Amen. me. I got to pray long suffering. Yes. Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Reach your hand. Yes. Turn their mind. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Give them a chance. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But when we pray, fast judgment. Hallelujah. Don't yes. it can turn on us. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Because yes. it's in an honor of God's name. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Don't place yourself in the wrong spot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will judge sin. Hallelujah. Before I go any further, Sister Sonia, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, no, I didn't have my hand raised at all. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to eat this today. Mm -mm. I ain't got nothing to say. 
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We thank you for being with us today. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It says here, uh, the book of Zephaniah shows us important things. It shows us about the nature of the coming judgment. And guess what? Lessons that still apply today. Yes. Come on. First and foremost, this judgment will be universal. This is a key part of what makes divine judgment a just judgment. Ah, everyone will be held accountable. Okay, we, we can stop right there. We, we can stop right there. Uh, everyone will be held accountable. Mm. We are not getting away. Oh my God, you, you, you don't get away just because he's silent right now. Come on. Mm. Mm. Silent is a gift right now mm -hmm. because it's showing his long suffering. Long suffering. That's it. Yeah. Silent mm. right now is his space of repentance yeah. for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His, your... yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And get back to right standing. Hallelujah. hallelujah. But everyone will be held accountable. Don't think that what you did in 20. I'm not going to even talk about 19 and 20. <laughs> 18. Because you think time, ooh, time heals all wounds. Time don't heal sin. Repentance does. So what you did in 20. Hallelujah. Jesus. You did not repent for it. God will judge it yes. because you are still held accountable. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm still trying to encourage you that he is in the business of restoration. Mm -hmm. In the business of restoring what you have wrecked. But you got to take the car, take the vehicle to be restored. Yes. You got to search and understand the value of it mm -hmm. and get to the business of replacing the parts. Lord. Glory mm. to God. Glory to mm. God. Secondly, it said the coming judgment is God's action against human pride and rebellion. I told you it, the pride was coming up. He don't like pride. It stank. It just stank. If you want a sweet smell and savor up to God, he loves a repentant heart. He loves a contrite spirit. The word said he won't despise it. He won't despise it. That's sweet smelling up to him. And I know evangelists, that's part of the tabernacle. When we burn all that stuff, hallelujah. Say that, hallelujah. To God, hallelujah. And it's like, ooh, I smell the repentance. Ah, I smell it. I, then what he replaces it with is the blood. Because then the blood starts covering that which you have submitted unto him. Then he said, when I see you, I see the blood. Oh, hey, God. Hallelujah. So judgment, it passes over because it's coming after the sin. But if the blood is covering the sin, it, by no shot, it passes over. Oh, Hey, I'm, go shot. I'm not talking about the, the right now. I'm not talking about you reap what you sow. I'm not talking about the, the principles. Okay. I'm not talking about that because God will give you grace to reap whatever you sow. Okay. He'll give you the grace and you can handle it. So we don't want to talk about that right now. I'm talking about God's judgment for sin. Hallelujah. But if the blood is covering it, it's going to pass over. Thank you, Lord. When I see the blood, whoo, God, hallelujah. But the only thing that applies blood is repentance. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here it says God must remain. See, see what we've got to understand that God has to remain sovereign over the world. He can't have you in his place. He will have no other God before him. So if you take in the I am spot, oh God, he has to remain sovereign. He has to remain God. 
Hallelujah. It said it continues to operate. It said, and this is the important point. It continues to operate in ways that allow humanity to flourish. His sovereignty allows humanity to flourish. It say at every turn, God works to defeat and deter human pride. Let me tell you why he does that. Ah, oh, I love this. He say at every turn, God works to defeat and deter human pride because he is trying to protect us. Wow, okay. Not himself. Hmm. Everything God hmm. does. Hmm is about his love for oh, us. God. Did we not talk about that? Oh, God. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave, he already got mm. glory. He wants you to give him glory. He has to remain in the glory spot. But guess what he wants? He wants a relationship with you so he can bring you to himself. Oh, yes, yes. That's all he wants. It's, he's trying to protect you. Because if you put yourself in the wrong spot, you will die in sin. You will be judged. He's trying to protect you yes. from judgment. He's trying to protect you from wrecking yourself. Yes. He's trying to protect you. Not himself. He loves us that much yes. that he has given us. He has given us. He has given us the ability to make it, he gave it, Evangelist Owens. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I was thinking of how, how you said he's protecting us. Yes. Do you know if we get, take that pride in the holy place, we die? See, it's still tabernacle. Mm -hmm. it, that pride can't go there. We got to kill the stuff at the gate. We got to sacrifice it right there. Put it on the altar right there. Because he don't want us to go any farther into the tabernacle. It got to die there. Because if we try to bring it in the holy place, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if we try to bring it to him, if we put that ourselves in the I am part, in, in, in that pride in the wrong place, we can die. So he it saved us to be saved. Be saved, yes. to be saved, to be saved. Saved us from the wrath to come mm. because the righteous judge will judge sin. Mm. He cannot lie to himself. He must mm. reverence his own word because he is his word. Yeah. So mm. if he say the penalty for sin is death, mm -hmm. he's trying to save us from to death. be saved. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm. From the wrath, even the wrath to come. Saved to be saved. We we got to we got we got to take these lessons and apply them. Thanks of God. We can't be found outside of the will of God. Hallelujah. If you find yourself outside of the will of God, acknowledge it so he can restore you. We want to be in right standing with God. Hallelujah. You can be. That's why I say this is an encouragement to you. Because he is saying today, I will restore yes. whatever you've lost. Yes. Whatever ground you've lost, yes. I will restore your ground. Yes. I will catch you up. All right. But unless you acknowledge it, yes. I can't do anything with it. The next part says, finally, divine judgment is the root of divine restoration. Praise God. There is no offer of salvation available in scripture that does not begin with repentance. Oh God, don't, don't think I'm just harping and saying, oh, everything you do is a sin. We just live in condemnation. That ain't what we're talking about. Because you don't have to live in condemnation because he said there is therefore now no. So you choose. But in order to have salvation, it has to begin with repentance. Sister Sonia, praise God. Um, I was thinking of listening to you and um, Evangelina. Sometimes 
we think that because we baptized in Jesus' name, because we done done that, that we're so safe. Mm -hmm. We stop there. We don't think about you still got to forgive. You still got to repent. You still got to pray. You still got to seek God. This is a daily thing. The word is so relevant, spoken way back there. This lesson is so prevalent for right now, today, that this is what we have to do, even down to my own self, what I still have to do, how I still got to seek, how I still got to pursue God and stop thinking. I have my own perceptions of what the enemy looked like, what he was. I was only driven by my own lust and showing you what I thought was right, what I thought sounded good because of how my upbringing had been. I've been learning so much out of these last three lessons that I have ever learned in my life. This was a while to me. That's all I have to say. We just got to do this thing. It is more than baptism in Jesus' name. It is more than just, Lord, forgive me. That one time, this is a daily walk. It's a daily look, a daily sacrifice. It's a daily sacrifice. It's a daily giving up yourself. This is daily. It's not a one time. This is daily. And no, you don't live in condemnation and you can't do nothing. But God has to be more than anything else in your life. Jesus has to become more and prioritize over everything you think you want to do, down to where you want to go, how you want to live, what it is that you would have. Because he said that if you seek me first, Ooh. give to me first, yeah. I want your first works. I want your first, I remember when, some people wanted me to do something and I was saying, oh, I got to see how much tithes we pay. And when I found out that people think that you still don't pay tithes because you up under grace and because I played around, I seen like a little poof mm. go up in the air that I shouldn't have even joked or jested with it. I was taking my grandchildren to eat lunch one day and walking back, the spirit of the Lord said, I never meant for my people to be broke. I thought I would fall in the bushes where I was walking. And when I got home, this insurance man came. I don't even know where he came from because I was at that time if my husband wasn't in the house. Ain't no man going to be in the house. I had the doors and windows open. And I knew that when they come, they come for money. They want a payment. He told me like this. He said, why don't you count up what your income is a month and see what you can afford? When I saw how much money was coming into the home at that time, I got so convicted because I wasn't a faithful tie payer. Mm. Now... I don't care what I pay my tithes. I don't care what I get. I've sinned it before because God wants the first of you. Mm -hmm. want the second eight night when you finish. I remember I had a sin and I'm done after this. When I was smoking drugs, I watched people and they'll come, oh, this the light bill money. Oh, this the this money. And I said, no, this money is for just what you're doing. If you ain't took care of that first, don't come here thinking you're going to do this and then have it. God wants your first. In every aspect of your life, he's looking for your first, not your second, third, because he don't want to be there. He want to be the top priority in your life. I'm done and muted. I love that. I love that. I love that. And when you were thinking about uh, um, beautiful, go with what you were saying of uh, the first. You understand what I'm saying? And so that we wanted to have that today, the first Sunday of the year, because that's like a first fruit. First the first, yes. the first fruits. I don't do these FFs too close together that well, but the first fruits yes. of of remembrance. Yes. The first fruits of applying the blood and his Lord. body to our lives yes. in order to set the course yes. of the Hallelujah. year. Yes. The first fruits. And I love that. I love that what you said. Yes. And and what, what I thought about when you were saying that, what brought us in 
is we got to, it's going to keep us in. If we sought the Lord and we had a, I need thee, oh, I need thee. When we came to God, when we repented of our sins and was filled with the Holy Ghost, we got to walk in a, I need thee, oh, I need thee. Because that, that, that takes us into our searching of him. That takes us into our placing him in the right place. That puts us on the right road that we need to be on because that keeps us looking to him. We, When we were seeking God, all we needed him. We wanted him so bad, it didn't matter. You, you didn't, it, it didn't bother you who was telling you how. You know, we, we did a lot of extra stuff. All we had to do after we realized all we had to do was receive him. But when so 